gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. You ever fuss and friggin' fuck around with something long enough to realize how utterly and completely stupid it is? I give you the single phase controlled compressor. What, dear friends, you ask, is so stupid about a compressor? Well, I'll tell you. One, when it has no pressure, it's under very little load. So you have no air in the tank. Here in the shop, you don't run, you know, you don't keep your compressor on all the time because if you go away and a line blows, well, you're gonna burn your fucking house down. So we don't do that. We turn it off and we turn it on when we need it. The Costco pack of Smokies in your face, Frankfurter to that, is you're waiting for the Jesus thing to get up to pressure to use your ugga dugga gun. And then when it gets up to pressure, it turns off. So you get one little, one little fart of pressure and then you gotta wait for the Jesus thing to kick back on because of that switch. It's a dead band switch. It comes up and then turns off and then the pressure's gotta drop back down before the Jesus. So that's no good for the Ugga Dugga. So what we are gonna do, and by we, I mean my buddy Duclaw. <laughs> He's back by popular demand. Apparently I got a face for radio. We are gonna put on a three phase motor and we're gonna put on a vector drive. That is going to allow us to maximize the amount of chooch for our chotch on account of instead of this idling away when it first starts up at zero PSI, because this is turning at the same speed. We're going to maintain constant horsepower on this so that at low pressure, she's going to be just fucking flying at 100 hertz. And then at the higher pressure, as the, amp, as the amps come up, the horsepower comes up, we're going to throttle back. Now this is a single phase capacitor start motor. We put this on the VFD, the variable frequency drive, and we're gonna let the smoke out of it right quick in a hurry. Now I didn't want to have to do that, but in order to explain it, I'm gonna have to get complicated. Pull out the old post hole digger. Uh, essentially, it's not gonna work. And that is all. Who the fuck put that on? Woo! <laughs> Double wrenchy. Uh, in hammer we trust. Well, I got your attention. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. I'm doing all my thinking in my head. What we can also do, huh? Because we got the PLC controlling the VFD to the ATM. <laughs> We got a new SOP for DOAs from the DEA. <laughs> Tough to get a word in edgewise with these electricians around. What we're going to do is we can control. So say you got the Ugga Dugga gun. You can control what the compressor is doing by giving pulses of air. So we're going to use the air to control the VFD. Say we want uh, supercharger Dugga Duggas, we want 200% over torque, you know, to really bust your nut off good and proper. Say you got an old rusty nut like I do. <laughs> what you can do is give it a couple brap braps in a certain sequence. The PLC will pick that up in, uh, in, in the pressure drops and then it can, it can know to go into fucking overdrive. What do you think, huh? Huh? No, you never want to force anything. Just get yourself a bigger hammer. Tap it, tap, tap. I don't know. Oh, I see. You give her a little reverse action. A little, uh, get some purchase from behind. Yeah, just to help, help it along a little bit. Oh, it's a coming. It's a coming. You know, they probably make a tool for this. Reach, oh, I bottomed up. Reach down a little lower. This is impossible. Just a little lower. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! That was touch and go. Well, she ain't the belle of the ball, but I've had worse. I mean, a mouth is a mouth at 3 a.m., am I right? So we'll just touch her up with the emery cloth and then uh, put some lipstick on this pig and on she goes.
Now we're getting into the meat of her, the proof in the pudding. We're actually testing it. Because this was engineered when Christ was a cowboy, this is sized so that at the upper end, when this is at 125 PSI, the motor isn't overloaded. But in all other cases, the motor is underloaded. So what we want to do is make sure that the motor is equally loaded at all operating scenarios. What do you think, sweet nubs? Half a turn, fart, let the smoke out? <laughs> all right, let's, let's do it. It's working! It's working! You want to squirt it out at Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, slight leak. We have found the problem. The ferrule worn right out. Ain't no kill like overkill. 12,000 PSI burst rated. That ought to do her. Just try it again. Yeah, okay. Tighten her up. No, fuck no. We'll spray some belt dressing on there. Oh uh, yeah, boss. I would have fixed it, but all I had was my crescent wrench. Now, the problem is, I don't actually have belt dressing, but this does in a pickle. Don't believe me, eh? You'll see. You'll see. I'll show them all. And a uh, word to the wise, trap for young gamers. This stuff is highly flammable. Don't ask me how I know that. What do you think? You want to give her? 60 hertz? Yeah. Engage. <laughs> Nice. You got her at 100 hertz? Yeah, well, 99.1. 99.1. Don't be afraid to give her one. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Way better. Did you find it ran smoother too? It didn't. It didn't have the bad things like wobbles. Yeah, it didn't have that super. Let's do the hot start, but at 120 psi. See if she starts. In at that high. Yeah. The high revolution. And we'll see if we can get rid of the unloader valve. Fuck yeah, buddy! What we're doing here? Hit it. Is hitting the jog function. We're testing the function to reduce the stiction inside that pistone. Now, it always wants to stop at the same location, either top dead center or bottom dead center, because that's where the pistone changes direction. That's under the most load. But if you're if you're at break up or whatever, or you're starting a new job, you bring this to site, then there's some stiction there. We want to overcome that stiction so we don't trip the breaker. And it seems. To be working fucking perfectly. Now Duclaw had an excellent point in his misspent youth. He did some trimber framing. Uh, he had a point here. I'll let him uh, take over. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's on his fucking phone. With the fucking phone. What a busy man here, man. What? Had a fucking shit to do. Semen to harvest. So <laughs> what's going on is... You can hear them when, when people are framing houses. You hear the tuck, 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 tuck. They're using those air nailers. That uses a surprising amount of air. And it'll go quiet for a while. They're waiting for that fucking thing to build up now. you got a construction crew of framers up 20, 30 feet in the air waiting for air to build up. That's just stupid. Just fucking stupid. So why not have it so the PLC controls this guy? And when you see that there's little pressure dips, you know to put it into fucking overdrive. And then you can throttle it back depending on how hot the motor and everything gets. I mean, the applications here, I'm sure I'm not thinking of a lot of stuff, but just the fact that this has been invented 100, 150 years ago and the technology hasn't changed, is fucking ridiculous. We plug in 120 volts. That kicks it up to 220 in the drive. We can do that. And then we run three phase. We can give it variable frequency. We can vary the speed of this. Compressors now, this is available in industry, but I'm talking small scale guys here. Construction zones, portable, all that sort of stuff. We can vary the speed of this motor depending on demand. So we don't need 
this thing to go up to 120 PSI and then drop back down to 80 before it kicks back on. We can see we can have pressure transducers so it knows when the operator is calling for demand. Uh, we could have a signal. We could say one, two, three, uh, dugga duggas, and it kicks into 200% over torque. You know, it, it just fucking gives her. Or we could have it so that guys, carpenters who are up on the roof running nail guns, we can keep those guys supplied instead of it dropping way down. You know, we give her 200% over torque and uh, maybe have an external blower, a little 12 volt blower what runs off the drive. All sorts of stuff like that. that so we're going to get into uh, the PLC programming in the future of a jail. As far as this, I would appreciate your feedback as to whether or not this would be useful for you, not having to rely on, because you know, you know what it's like when you're waiting for this thing to spool up so that you have enough pressure to break those rusty nuts. Get rid of all that bullshit and have a smart control on a plug-in unit. No more, no more flipping breakers all the time. I mean, the, it's endless. It's re, it's it's endless. This, I think this is a great idea. I would appreciate your feedback down in the doobly doo. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Doobly doo. Keep your dick in advice. We are gathered here today to bid farewell to a much maligned and hated dear frenemy, the too shabby VFD hung low brand cheap Chinesium module. Jeez, that must be a union tool. <laughs> Smarter, not harder. HR department. Once you can't take a gentle ribbing from your peers and that's what she shed jokes all day long. Those who can't, HR.